again, I, I, I will just remind you, in World War II, on, on the Russian side, on the Soviet side, they lost about 27 million people, right? So this is, I'm including uh, prisoners of war, killed in, in action, and civilians. Total around 27 million. So when they, when they have German tanks coming, you know, towards them again, uh, I, you know, I suspect it leaves a pretty nasty taste in their mouth. It's not a nice reminder. And I'll say, I'll say one more thing, you know. I'll say one more thing. One of the conditions, one of the conditions for German reunification was that, you know, the, so the Soviets would support, it, would, would support this as long as NATO doesn't expand any further to the east, okay? And I know there are people who like to say, well, this was never put in writing, and, and it, that's just a, it's a Kremlin talking point. No, it's not. It's, it's in the British National Archives. I think, ironically, we're talking about Spiegel. Der Spiegel published uh, last year a minutes from the, the diplomatic meetings where they, they, they said, no, we, you know, these are Western diplomats talking, say, we can't, we can't put Poland inside of NATO because it'll upset the Russians and we can't do that uh, given the two, the two plus four negotiations, right? So it's very clear. They, they know, okay, we can reunite Germany, but we can't put these, uh, you know, these Eastern Bloc or Russian satellite states in, inside of NATO. And what do they do? They got Germany reunited, Wonderful, and then they start expanding. You know, Bush uh, uh, in two thousand eight. Uh, sorry, Bush before that, and then I'm 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 referring to Ukraine and Georgia in two thousand eight at, at the NATO summit. Again, another slap in the face, and just every couple of years they start adding more and more people. And just for context, since the end of the Cold War, NATO has doubled its membership. Doubled. Okay, so you know, if you're the Russians, you're looking at this shit and you're saying we got a we've got a pretty crappy deal, you know. These guys screwed us. <laughs> you know, the, Ru the Russians went from being, uh, you know, in Berlin to having Germany in NATO and then all of the Eastern Bloc in NATO. And, and you can just look at whose borders, you know, uh, um, whose borders have changed. It's NATO that's moving closer towards Russia. Uh, to towards Russia and, and, you know, the Russians are the ones who've gotten a pretty crappy deal. I mean, I would be pretty pissed off if I were in their shoes. I would be very pissed off. Uh, because, it, it, you know, it's like you've taken them for a ride. You know, you've taken them for a ride. And the, 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 it, it's not just about the tanks as weapons of war. It's, it's the, the symbolic uh, and, and uh, you know, the, the historical context of having German tanks, you know, charging towards Russian lines. No, 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 no. No, you can't do this. It's not going to end well.